welcome, namaste to you all. Hey, thank you for joining me. This is Leo's reading for October 2017. As you can see, we are using a new deck by Sandra Ann Taylor, and these are energy cards. They have beautiful messages from within. They're quite intuitive and quite responsive, I have found. We will be using six of these cards, which we will work through as we go through the reading. I also picked one before your reading, a couple of days ago, called From the Keepers of the Light deck, and you guys received Shekinah. Now this is about the sacred self and the dance to the rhythm of life. Quite a passionate sort of synergy and quite strong, a little bit like you Leos. We'll talk about that towards the end of the reading, but let's see for now what you have in store for October. So Leo, these are a little bit more difficult to shuffle, so they take a little bit of time and effort, but I think it's worth it. So Leo, thinking woman, storm warning. Seventh Chakra, Archangel Uriel, Man Holding a Coin, Attachment, and Action. I think there's a couple of cards of action in your reading. Okay, sorry about this guys. I'm moving a big camera around and I'm trying to uh, focus it as best I can for you. So let's start your reading up here with the top left, the thinking woman. There's quite a lot of kind of muted greys and green sort of energy going on in your reading. But we'll start with the thinking woman. Now she exudes someone who is working with the intellect. So sometimes she portrays herself in a reading as an accountant or a lawyer or an employer, or someone along those lines. So this could be someone new coming in for you, or someone helping to promote or further activate a situation. So if any of you have been apply applying for jobs, this could be a new employee. If you have been seeking legal advice, or looking for loans, or dealing with legal figures, this could be the person who is activating something. So taking it a step further. She often does exactly as what I say. It's like she initiates something or she's managing to propagate something into its next step, which is a great way to start the month, especially if you've been working on some sort of project that needed to be moved along. Great possibility for some of you applying for jobs. This could be your new employer. Now, if this is you acting as the thinking woman, again, this could be you promoting activity to occur around projects, especially creative resources or around your career. So you might be about to make changes within a career. You might be about to think about starting a new business or propagate it into a bigger or larger or more expansive field. Any of these possibilities occur when the thinking woman turns up. She could be, for some of you, are possibly coming in too as, as a new partnership, again business-wise, or possibly um, personal partnership relationship issues. We come next to the storm warning. Now I do liken this to the um, tower card. It does look quite foreboding. There's a couple of messages with this card. One of them is that it can be a literal physical storm that some of you might be involved in on the planet. We do have a lot of them going at the moment. We've had five hurricanes all active around the Caribbean and merging up to that east coast of America. So there's potential for more storms yet as the cyclone season wears on. If you are in an area where there's a storm, whether it be flooding or winds or rain or a big storm thing like this, as long as you have some preparedness in plans in place and that you are aware of procedures that you need to take within your community as well. So I think for everyone around the globe we need to be more aware of the climate change issues and scenarios and I bang on about that enough, I know that, but you did get the card turn up so I'm mentioning it. The other thing the storm warning is like the tower, so this can be a warning of a stormy period in your life and again this can be around sudden change, unexpected, sometimes quite volatile, sometimes it surrounds itself with arguments, 
Leos are quite, you know, you're the fire sign, you're not afraid to tackle things head on and you're not afraid to be a bit combative. So storms aren't necessarily new to you guys. You can sort of get out there and handle them and go, yep, bring it on, mate, don't tackle me. I'm Leo, the king of the lion, the king of the beasts. So if it happens, know it happens for a reason, make sure you deal with it again in the emotional right manner, use the correct type of energies in any stormy situation. If you're dealing with people at work, handle it correctly. If you're dealing with personal relationships, handle it correctly. If you're dealing with money situations or, or property situations, make sure you've got all the right people involved, like this thinking woman, you know, a legal advisor, stuff like that. It's all common sense. But it, it, when it happens to us suddenly, it can be a bit of a shock. And sometimes we're not prepared for it, which is why I'm telling you <laughs> to be prepared. Um, know too that these things come to take us on a new journey and in a new direction. And we usually benefit from it at the end. Okay, let's move to the next one. The seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. So the seventh chakra is on top of the head. It's the crown chakra where we perceive our closeness to God or creator, source, energy, vibration, frequency. It's where the celestial energies occur from and it's where we find much of our creativity that comes down through the count crown chakra and then um, becomes inspired through the sacral chakra areas and the base chakra. So Uriel is a beautiful angel to connect with as well. She's very loving. She can bring in loving energies and she can bring in very compassionate, warm and nurturing energies. So if you are requiring an angel for the month, do utilize Uriel and allow her to come in through the crown chakra, which will align your whole body from the top to the bottom. And it could also give you some really good ideas because that's where we often get our spatial ideas from. So again, this can help projects, it can help your career, it can help move forward if you are stuck in emotional situations as well. We come down here to the man holding a coin. It's quite nice that he's linked in here with this intellectual capacity up here. He's also offering something new. So both of these people tend to have the capacity to offer you guys new opportunities, both at the intellectual and the physical manifestation of money. So again, this could be about new jobs, new monetary systems coming into your life, maybe a little bit of extra money, possibly an inheritance or a windfall. Possibly you have been um, utilizing your money or saving it really well previously, and you're now reaping the rewards and dividends are paying off. He could also, for some of you, be a new love interest coming, and he may be an earth sign person. That's also a possibility with this card. This one here, attachment, it's interesting, it sits under the storm warning, they're quite highly aligned. Often when we have something like a storm event happen in our lives at a personal level, we don't want to let go. We were hanging on to the last clutches of a relationship that wasn't working or a system in our lives that was really not delivering, and so we have an attachment to it. And it's interesting, she's kind of looking up here at this. It's almost like they are tied together, and they're saying, if you drop the attachment and you let it go, you will be delivered with calm after the storm and a rare insight and a beautiful peacefulness that comes across us. And as every door closes, a new one always opens. And don't ever forget that. But by holding on to stuff, we're not allowing the new doors to open. We've, we've got them shut. We've locked ourselves into a box. So attachment really is a negative thing. Even though it may seem a bit like it's just not that much of an issue, it is. So by letting go of something that we've been holding on to, we just allow this freedom, this lightning of being, this energetic buoyancy that comes floating and bubbling into our lives and really seriously opens up, opens up so much opportunity. And I think it connects in the message that I'm delivering with the card next door, which is action. And what a beautiful card that is, the, the yin-yang of life, the black and white, the night and dark. This is like a cycle of life suggesting to you that action is available, movement forward, growth, opportunities, 
delivering of, of things. It's enabling you to escape something, move away from something that no longer serves you into this fast flowing action of moving forward. Great card to have for the very end of your reading because those horses are literally rushing into the next month and therefore the last part of the year as we move into there as well. And I think for Leos, I always think of you guys as full of action and never sitting still and it's always like go, go, go. So for you guys it's a really nice way to finish the reading. I think it tells you that if you have had things that have been stuck, if you've been working on projects, if things have been annoying you or you've had attachments, <laughs> it's time for the action to come in and you could literally have it activated at many, many levels. And it could be quick and sudden and you might be going, whoa, <laughs> that was a bit funny. <laughs> it sounded like a horse. But you could literally be going like that and sort of like, oh my God, slow down. I can't keep up with all the action. So that sounds really positive as you move into, as I say, the last part of the year and prepare yourself for 2018. So let's finish with this deck and put these away and show you your last card, which is very rather pretty and pink and with the white dove as well. I will um, focus the camera a little closer. And the words are the Shekinah, the sacred self. Unleash your spirit. Well, there you are, Leos. Express your gifts and dance to the sacred rhythm of life. And I think that very last card about um, movement and action coming in really harnesses the energies of the Shekinah. And up here she has an ecliptical moon on her head and all the stars and the black background and the planets there and I think that ties in quite um, intrinsically with the whole galactic movement of the last few months with the celestial occurrences such as the the two eclipses the solar and the lunar and the way the planets are currently aligned because it's a very activated time in our lives and it's not just for this small part of the year or for this month this is taking us a long way further. It's the time to make decisions, important decisions in our life that we are moving into a new phase. So to have the Shekinah here to help you really empower and impassion yourself as you move forward is a great energy to hold on to. It's, she's very dominant, she's very strong and it certainly is about unleashing your spirit and something that I think Leos love to do and are good at. So there you are guys, have a wonderful October ahead. By all accounts you have plenty of opportunities to make great change and bring about great action. So thanks for listening, subbing, liking and leaving your comments. I really appreciate all those. I love to read the comments and I wish you all the very best. Be careful, have a safe, happy, love-filled, sacred self-filled month. Namaste.